Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're going to talk about um, basically adding an error from Apex Code, just like a validation rule. So what we're going to do is, if I go to the account object and I want to create a new account, let's say that we want to use the phone number, right? So if I put in a name for account, you see how it's like mocked right here. And you also want a sort of validation for the phone to make sure there's something in there eh? that it's not null. Um, you can do this from Apex code as well if you, if for some reason you, you can't use validation rules. So yeah, um, let me show you how to do that. So let's just go save here just to make sure. Okay, yeah, so it's working just like that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a new um, Apex trigger and let's call this um, phone check trigger oh no we'll call this phone check validation and just make sure it's on the correct object um, for this one we'll just leave it as before insert so basically what we want to do is we want to check for the account object uh, just use trigger.new so basically whatever we put in here um, the trigger is going to check that every time bef before a new account is inserted. Okay, so let's do acc dot phone. Um, just make sure you've got the correct API name. So we just want to check if it's null or if acc phone um, is an empty string, probably. All right. Do do do. So. Next thing we want to do is just add the error. Okay, so let's go ACC phone dot add error. So inside of here, you can specify uh, whatever you want depending on your error type. So I'm just going to say something like, please, let's say phone number required with a couple of exclamation marks. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's hit save and see if we get any errors there. It should be all good. Uh, yeah. Next thing we'll do is go to our account object in Salesforce. Just refresh the screen. Uh, create a new account. Go there. So what we'll do now is let's go and call this. We'll just call this test one for now. I'm gonna try and hit save and we, we should get an error message there now. All right, it's cool, yeah. It looks pretty pretty serious as well <laughs> with all those ex exclamation marks. So if we put a number in there now, um, should be able to save it, cool. And let's just do one more test quick. So let's test for an empty string. So let's call this one test number two and I'll just put like an empty string in there. All right, it's cool. So you can see it, it actually does need to have a value so yeah, uh, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.